All right, welcome everyone to this Thursday night's edition of Southern Woods and Waters. We hope you and your family are snuggled in for the night. Let me tell you something, it's a big change in the temperature from what it was last night to tonight. Uh, it's going to get much, much colder. I was just talking to Ron House. It is be 19 degrees in the morning here in Nashville by the time uh, uh, 6 o'clock rolls around. So it's going to be mighty, mighty cold. And they are calling for some snow and precipitation. So uh, uh, be careful out there. I'll tell you ahead of time, be careful. Mind those uh, streets and overpasses and bridges. And if you have to, leave 20 minutes early, you'll get there just fine. Hey, we've got a great, great show for you. And this show, we're announcing another show. So uh, let's broaden out and introduce our guest to you tonight. I have Josh Lovell right here with Expo South. Josh, thank you so much for being on here with us. Well, I'm glad to be here. All right. And, and Tommy Cawley, I'm telling you, Tommy, you've been on here a couple of times with me. And, and you bet you. It's always good to see you and, and bring you over here. And we are announcing the Expo South show is coming to Nashville the uh, February 8th, 9th, and 10th. We're going to be out at the State Fairgrounds right here in Nashville, Tennessee, and bringing you the very best in fishing uh, where, you know, Guys, if you don't do anything else, if you only fish twice a year, you don't want to miss this show because this is where all the great stories are told. Yeah, lots, you. <laughs> lots of cheap tackle. <laughs> lots, well. of, lots of cheap tackle, but it's all the stories. Man, I've heard some great stories out there, and, and it's always a pleasure to go out there. And they have to run most people out. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but Josh, we got you got it all lined up. And, man, you, you've you worked alongside with Condred and, and Brian and, and Mark Lovell, of yep. course, is the, the head honcho. But uh, Mark does such a fine job. And, man, this what from what I understand, this is going to be wall to wall this year. It's going to be bigger. We've added uh, two. We got two more buildings this year. We got one additional building from last year. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a 10 or 11 boat dealers in there. You know, they bring all their new latest boats out there. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be big and better. There's going to be a bunch of people. Yes, sir. Uh, Tommy, they could probably, we got a whole lot of seminar speakers. Lots of them. Uh, Jim Dirk, Duckworth and Old Stallworth, he'll be back. That's right. Um, I'm going to be doing some stuff with Hummingbird and uh, some different other tactics that I hadn't made up my mind, so I'll surprise you a little bit. <laughs> well, that's good, but we also got uh, Stephen Hedrick with Punisher Lures is going to be there. Yep. Uh, we got Chris Snow, a good, good friend of mine. Uh, he's with Snow Spinners. He's going to be talking about how to fish Center Hill Lake. Uh, the one and only, the greatest of all, I think, is Bobby Gentry. Bobby Gentry is probably well known on Dale Hollow Lake. Uh, he's just he's just Mr. Dale Hollow, I'm telling you. He's going to come in and let us know about all kinds of fishing on Dale Hollow. He said, Hugh, I'm not going to limit it to just brown fish. He said, we're going to talk largemouth. We're going to talk crappie. We're going to talk walleye. Well, that's some more secrets. That's great. That's great sure. stuff. If you So if you're a walleye fisherman, a crappie fisherman, a bass fisherman, brown fish, striper, catfish, we got a little bit for everybody. And, you know, I might be talking about a few walleye because, you know, the world record came out of us. Over that's right. That, talk to us about now. Where, what lake are you talking Grish about? Grishray Lake. Uh, it's north central Arkansas, about 70 miles north, northeast of Little Rock. There. Right. We've got two world records come out of the lake, uh, world record walleye, world record hybrid. That's right. And below the dam, we had the world record brown trout. Camp. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So three three world records were broken right there in that one lake. That's right. And all you got to do is come see me and pry my brain a little. And I'll lay, <laughs> lay on you what I know, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. Because <laughs> I told Tommy, I said, that'll take about five minutes. What else do I want? Yeah. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. Tommy, you're a wealth of knowledge over there, and you do Really, really good job. Well, thanks a lot. And you yeah. have Fish Finder Service there. Yes, sir. Which is your guide service and everything that you have there yes, sir. also. So you and a small on... RV park. We'll yeah. Throw that in here. Yeah, small yeah, RV you park. You do. How many guide trips do you think, or how many days on the lake are you fishing? You know, I'm on the water probably 300 days. Man. When That's I, a cushy job. <laughs> well, it's a cushy to so far, but you know, everybody tells me that, but it's like four jobs in one. It is. People take for granted that, that guides are, have a cushy job. They get to do what they love. But they don't understand that when you start s charging for services rendered mm -hmm. and becoming a professional fishing guide, yes, sir. it kind of changes from being a, a good recreational thing to a 
hardworking profession. The only reason I still love it, Hugh, is because I love to be outside. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're like me. I just like to see the smiles on people's faces when they catch that big oh, one. I love to teach people that, how to fish. It's there's really nothing cool. like it because no. no two people are going to react the same. No, no, definitely I've so. had guys jump up and miss the boat when they came back down and land in the water. From three-year-olds <laughs> three year to 103-year-olds. Yeah, that's know, right. You know. um, i got to say a big shout-out, by the way, to Mr. Bill Brummett. He's 89 years old. Bill, you got to come out. February 8th, 9th, and 10th to the show. And meet our guide. We're going to go out crappie fishing with Mark Travis. So he's going to be out there also uh, at the fishing show. So uh, Bill Brummett Sr., I'll tell you what, 89, and he's ready to go perch jerking. I bet he is. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's for everybody out there, too. Uh, uh, and we're going to talk about something about perch jerking. You know, and, and I want to say, uh, Little Miss Hannah is going to be out there also, Team Hannah. She's going to be in the Southern Woods and Waters booth. Uh, come on out there and meet Team Hannah. She's trying to get more and more youngsters involved. And she's going to be, y'all have got a trout pond that's going to be there. We're going to interview some kids. So come on out there and be lucky enough to be interviewed by Little Miss Hannah. And uh, we're going to film some of that and have you uh, kind of talking about some trout fishing out there. And, yep. and trying to get more kids involved. Well, that's what we're really striving for. We want to make uh, this show more go towards kids and their families, you know, some kids have never been out fishing in their life. You're right. And we want them to, you know, catch the first fish and that'll help them enjoy coming back to the show, coming and seeing their friends, you know, when they get older, they can bring their kids and learn to fish and. Well, we have to pass our knowledge on as well, or the, you know, sport will just go to dwindle out. I mean, we have to uh, show them how to do what needs to be done conservation-wise on down. You know? That's right. That's right. Uh, Andrew, are we ready to take our first break, you think? All right. I'll tell you what, guys. I want to, I want to stop right here because I really want to lead into something in the very next segment. So let's go now. Visit some of our fine sponsors that make this show available to you. So hurry back with more of Southern Woods and Waters. This segment is being brought to you by Stan Sloan Zora Bait Company, where setting the hook is an everyday thing. This segment is being brought to you by Fate Sanders Marina. Come by and check out the jewel of Percy Priest Lake. All right, this week's picture of the week is being brought to you by Flowers Deer Processing. Hey, he's about done with the deer processing. Come April 1st, he's going to open up Flowers Garden Center again. So that'll be available. Do not want to miss him. He will be in the Southern Woods and Waters booth, and he has got a spectacular new product he's introducing at this very expo. So don't want to miss that. Come on by there, February 8th, 9th, and 10th. Let's show some pictures here. Hey, look at here. This is from our good friend, Rob Wheeler. Uh, he said... This is my youngest son last weekend at Kentucky Lake. Look at what some crappie that boy walked away with. Now, that's the what I'm talking about. It is that time of year. Hey, this is my niece. This is Brooklyn Bowie. She is my niece. She, we're getting her ready to go. She went on the last weekend of archery season in Kentucky. And can you tell this girl's ready to go hunting? I mean, she is all smiles. She's fired up. There, she is she? fired up. I wish I was that fired you up. You bet. You bet. <laughs> Let me give you some uh, uh, results from January 26th tournament. This is our first place winner. This is Jason Schroeder with 16.46 pounds. Look at the brown fish in there. Jason 16 Schroeder. 16.46 pounds. Jason Schroeder. Our next picture here, this is our second place winners of the same tournament, went along and they won the first big fish, and that's Tim Dotson and Carl Ritchie, 14.80 pounds, and the large mouth weighed 7.26, right there in Percy Priest. Our third picture here, this is the uh, second place big fish winner. This is David Welcher and Adam Vance with a 5.95 pound largemouth. Hey, you can send your pictures to us here, Southern Woods and Waters, 
474 James Robinson Parkway, Nashville, Tennessee, 37219, or simply email them to me at Hugh at SouthernWoodsAndWaters.com. We'll get them on here really, really fast. Send them on in. Got a lot of guys bringing in pictures of rabbit season still going yeah. on, too. Okay. So a lot of pictures coming in. Um, that Tournaments are going on. Cabin fever's on the rise. People are looking for ways to get outside. Uh, if you really want to catch some really, really big fish now, now is a good time to go. If you can catch the water just right and the wind just right and the temperature just right, you can have a heyday out there on the water. Right now is the time to do it, Hugh. It sure is. And if we can ever help you get in the mood to go fishing, hey, February 8th, 9th, and 10th, you need to come to the Nashville Fairgrounds at the uh, Nashville Expo or the Tennessee Fishing Expo. And I promise you, there's going to be about 200 people in there ready to get you fired up for the fishing season. I guarantee that. You couldn't, you couldn't pay, uh, you know, 5000 bucks and get the knowledge you'll get from these, some of these seminars. You know? That's exactly right. And these seminars are free. Right. They're free. And going if, on all day. Going on all day from morning to afternoon. Every day. They're going on every all three days. And here's the thing. If you really want to... I, I, let me put it to you like this. My pastor, Jim Fraze, Joy Church, Mount Juliet, says you got to be passionate. Mm -hmm. And if you're passionate about something, Tommy, Josh, you're going to be all in. Right. That's like all everything's in, Lord. I, I'm just going to, I want to be passionate right. about my fishing. Right. If you are passionate about your fishing, you will try and learn every single technique. And I don't want to be a know it all. I'm like him, I want to be a learn it all. There you go. That's what I want to be. So I'm not, if if I'm not shaking hands in my booth, I promise you one thing, I'm going to be in there learning from somebody like you right. that has maybe a technique that I didn't know about, or maybe I didn't know enough about it. Right. You know, maybe I know a little bit about it, but or I don't maybe know I enough use it about it. A little bit different than you use it where you're at or different times. There's still so many variables there. There is. You know. And it can make the difference between having a mediocre day and having a fantastic day yes, on the water. Definitely. And and that's what uh, the greats like we have, like Mark uh, Travis, right here in our own backyard. Mark Travis is probably one of the best uh, crappie guides I know of, really. Right. I mean, he really goes all out. And I'm not saying he's the greatest crappie fisher. Right. But I am saying this. You cannot go out with Mark Travis and not have fun. It's an impossibility. <laughs> uh, he goes out of his way to make each and every trip fun. He brings you water, some crackers. He's got everything. Every excuse I tried to get off that water to go get me a burger, he, he said, I got a pack of crackers for you. <laughs> well, and Hugh, another thing, uh, if there's a certain seminar these people want to come look at, yeah. next week I'll have it all updated. Uh, they can visit tnboatexpo.com. That's right. That's and right. It'll be you know, on the website. They'll know exactly what time to come in and be there a little bit early because sometimes we'll have, uh, they'll roll over or somebody will want to go early. And sometimes if they get done early, we'll throw somebody else up there just to talk a little bit about, you know, another fishing product or another way to catch a good fish. Now, one of the one of the BASS Pro Elites, Russ Lane. Yes, he is scheduled to be there. He'll be there with a uh, uh, with Phoenix boats. With Phoenix boats, he, so he's coming in, and we just may have a surprise for everybody in the Punisher, uh, in the Punisher booth. Right. Uh, we have may not have another big name Bass Pro Elite. We're not going to say just yet because you got to be there. You just got to be there. I'm telling you, if you're going to miss out on this. Uh, and don't forget about the lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the lemonade. Best lemonade saying, in the country. Best though. lemonade in the country. But not only that, but there's, I want to go ahead and talk. Just about every boat I know of, this manufacturer is going to be representative there. Definitely. Right. Uh, so if you're looking, now this is not the houseboat um, type of show. This is a fishing show. Now, we're going to have pontoons. You're going to have deck boats, pontoons. You're going to have uh, bass boats, aluminum, crappie, bluegill, catfish, duck boats. I know there's going to bring some camouflage duck boats there. Right. So a little bit of everything one is going to be thing, represented. One other thing that's going to be there that I don't know anything about, but it's some kind of newfangled 
a stand-up wakeboard deal since this hit the market or something that's going to be there. So. Jackson Kayak. No okay. Kayak. Yeah. Jackson Kayak is going to be there. And let me tell you something. Those things are awesome. Okay. I, I, I got to tell you all something. I, you know, and you're looking at the fat boy. I know that. But, you know, I, we went and did a fishing piece on the Collins River out of mm -hmm. Jackson Kayaks. We had a blast. Now, we went musky fishing. Right. The bad thing was is the muskie had already vacated the premises about three or four uh, days before we got there. <laughs> but I want to tell you something. We had a blast just paddling kayaks down the Collins River. Hold on, hold on. Do we have a video or a picture of you standing up on one of these things? No, you do not. <laughs> and, and nor will I say you'll ever get one. <laughs> now, you might get one that I'm up on one for about three seconds right before I fall. <laughs> well, you know, the other thing about that is that they're going to have the latest, greatest boats and accessories. The cheapest prices on boats and motors you yeah. can get in the, uh, from now all year. All year. In the same way with tackle. Any type of tackle, if it's made, uh, has been made, or maybe even not made yet, people's going to have it or some product of it. It's like this cricket rocket. That's right. And I want to talk about that. That is, this is one of the best ideas I have seen in a long, long time. And, and we've told he's been on the show. Yeah. He's been on the show, and he's talked about these uh, cricket rockets. But talk to us a little bit about it, Tommy. Well, uh, you know, this is a neatest thing since sliced bread. It's what I tell people. Uh, you know, the people if red ear are eating, and they're really eating fish. Are eating the crickets and you they're biting you got to get right back in there when you're when they're when they're doing it and you can't be chasing crickets around the boat no. you, you can't chase them around the boat and this is the neatest thing you, it'll hold 200 crickets you put your crickets in there and there's a little slide on the side and you keep this slide pulled back and when you need a cricket, all you do is kind of flick it down and push this slide up and it brings a cricket up here there's four openings all the way four slits in the end of this thing where you can hook it if it comes out backwards it comes out forwards however you generally hook a cricket you can hook that cricket the way you generally do it that's right and hook the cricket and then you bring the slide back so when you take the cricket out it doesn't tear the cricket up and no more crickets can get out that's right and you just open it up and the cricket's on the hook and there you are and you can and put you've a, never had to touch a cricket Never had to touch it. You hadn't lost a cricket. It'll, from what you could invest in one of these, would save uh, buying crickets uh, all year long. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you can put a lanyard on it. It will float. And uh, we have tried and used some of them with small, you can even use a small minnow with this thing. Oh, really? Yes. And uh, we're working on one for a worm as we speak. That is awesome. But you can see them at the show, and I'll talk about them in some seminars. Now, who's well. the man that invented Byron Conaway right. uh, is a gentleman over in Henderson, Tennessee. A uh, uh, little quick story about him. He went to school with uh, Walking Tall's daughter. That's right, Buford yeah. Puster. Yeah, sure daughter. did. And uh, he grew up in that part of the country, and uh, he's a blast to be around. And uh, he's not going to be able to be here at uh, Nashville, but he'll be in Memphis the following week. Well, we look forward to having you talking about them and, and having them out there. Kids, this is the, and Josh, you're right, this is the main theme of this show is to get the kids involved. Right. we got to get them off the couch. Well, uh, you know, we just got to. How many of these can we give away at the show? Can we give a couple of them at door prizes and yeah, stuff we can, like we're, that? Yes, you, you bet we can. We can give several of these away for a door prize at the show and then come by the booth and talk to me about them. I might give a few away at the booth. There you go. We want to get them out on the market and get them into kids' hands, the uh, future of fishing, and they need them. They need them. They really do. Talking about giveaways, the first 200 people through the door on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday get what, John? That's Bill? huge, uh, huge uh, uh, bloopers, ain't it? That's huge bloopers. That's it. That's it. Uh, we're giving Bill Dance blooper DVDs away for the first 200 people through the door. Uh, you know, the kids might be able to sit back and watch it and laugh with their parents or grandparents oh, it's and learn a little bit. You know. And a lot of people look at that and think it's staged, but I, I actually have met Bill Dance several times. Yeah, yeah, I, it, it isn't staged. Right. That's how oh, he yeah. is. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't miss an opportunity like that. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, we got to go now to our product of the week. 
Southern Woods and Waters product of the week, brought to you by FowlQuest. All right, this week's product of the week, let me show you right here. This guy is going to be there in the booths with us there at the expo. This is Stand Up Jig, and I want you to look at this. This is a full skirted three quarter ounce jig, and it stands up with the hook straight up. That'll come through rocks. It uh, comes yeah. through rocks, it'll come through wood. And let me tell you something if you use the right kind of uh, uh, trailer on here, I like to use, now I'm, on, I'm partial to it, is that Strike King, that little bitty Rage Crawl right. trailer. Uh, with the big flappers, it just sits there, and if there's any current whatsoever, yes. it's just sitting there waving at them like, come on over here. They can't stand it. And they can't hardly stand it right there. So just a great, great bait. Stand-up jig. He's going to have his booth over there at the expo, but he's got hundreds and hundreds of these ready to go home with you. So uh, check that out. All right, we've got to take a short another break, visit some more of our fine sponsors, and when we come back, we're going to open up the phone lines for you here. So hurry back to more of Southern Woods and Water. 